Hello, I'm Dennis Cometti. It's time for Saturday afternoon football. With me is Matthew Richardson. Right, Dennis, today should be a great match. The batters look great as the players get set to run through them. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The batter looks great and everything is spelt correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to ask. Please line up. Here we go. It's the Suns versus Fremantle. Neil taps. Tucker onto the ball. Gives it to the running man. Swallow intercepts it. He boots it from the pack. A solid mark from Weller. Sends the Sharon on its way. He wins the contest. Briscatelli takes a low stab kick. He wins the contest. Works it across the ground. He misses the mark. The umpire will give us another ball up. Witz with the hit. Hill is able to grab it on the half follow. Neil was taken high. Kick by Neil. A mark by Fife. Fife. He's just got a lot of tricks in the bag, which makes him so very hard to stop. He's also got an amazing highlight reel. Tucker gathers the ball. It's in his possession. Swallow hand passes the ball. Riscatelli puts his boot on it. Young with a strong mark. Picture perfect drop punt. A good mark under the circumstances. Boots it. Great grab. Lonigan urged on by the crowd, prepares to kick. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. Mate has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. 15 meters out. Going for goal number one. Goal for no. Gold Coast take the first goal. Good bounce. Tapped by Sandilands. He gets his hands on the footy. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. What do you think, Richo? Can he make this one? Most players at this level shouldn't have any trouble with this conversion. Is it high enough? Long enough? Straight enough? Less than one goal in this match. The dock is still very much in it. He'll be disappointed with that effort. He was never going to get that. Not sure what he was trying to attempt there, but the ball has changed possession. Is in his possession. Willock with the tap. Hastily kicked. Tap by Lyons. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Five aims the ball straight for the line. Riscatelli kicks. Nice hands. Lyons just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. That's a very bad kick. He grabs it. Puts boot to ball. Tucker with the mark. Puts boot to ball. Great move to be able to work into an uncontested position. Monday urged on by the crowd. Prepares to kick. 45 metres out. Get back in from this position. A goal now will tip the scales in favour of Fremantle. The dock is on top. The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Witz hardly provided a challenge. Neil comes away with the ball. Mundy claims the ball. Now do you think you can kick this one, Richard? This angle will test him, I reckon, Dennis. Has it got the carry? Out on the full. Free kick to Fremantle. 
Sexton kicks. He wins the contest. Can he kick it from here, Richard? This angle will test him, I reckon, Dennis. 45 metres out. Bennell thumps the ball for goal. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Mundy in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. 15 metres out. Mundy executes the goal well. That's two in a row for Fremantle. The dock is by seven points. Oh, he'll be loving that goal when he sees it in the highlights package. Sanderlands can really set the tone of the game with his rough work. He just always gives his team first use of the ball. Really quick hands to get the ball out from that tackle. Riscatelli gets the ball. Wits slams the ball to his boot. Young lines up. Nice drop up. Nice mark there. 30 metres out. A chance to add one more to his tally. Mate goes goalward. It's true. This is edge of your seat footy. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Sandlin's with the tap. He's got the football now. Tucker runs past and gets the ball. A lot of possessions for him. Kirsten dishes it off to the running man. Kirsten with the goal. The dock is by seven points. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Sandlin's with a big fist on it. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Rosa keeps it alive with a foot. Five taps. Tucker onto the ball. And he's heading for home. He's missed the lot. He's kicked it out on the full. Swallow kicks it. Strong mark by Thompson. Thompson has some potential and he'll really be able to unlock that potential if he has some continuous effort. He lines it up with the goal. McCarthy kicks for goal. Kirsten goes for goal. The ball is tapped. Sexton gets possession. Receives the hand pass. He slams that on the boot. Barlow takes the mark uncontested. Bumps the pigskin. Great grab. Witz slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. Day got a really good footballing brain. Fight marks the ball. He boots it. Kirsten with the ball, concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. Kirsten kicks for goal. The ball's up. Score for the Dockers. The Dockers are in front. All is in readiness. Look at that bounce. Tapped by Sandilands. Able to grab it on the half volley. Sheridan steers the ball towards goal. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Gets the distance. This kick puts them further into the lead. That's two in a row for the docket. The dock is over. The Suns by 19. The Rucks prepare to go at it to this bounce. Great bounce. Witz knocks it down the field. He has the ball. Blakely. Handball short. Nice one too. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. Fremantle by 20 points. Disappointing kick there. A spearing kick from Swallow. Thompson couldn't keep his hands on it. Sockers the ball away. McCarthy throws it. Clear as day. Willock setting up the play. Sends it out of the defensive 50. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. Dishes it off to the running player. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. Rosa is a smart guy, but he's got to keep it cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Lonergan has a kick. It's in the air. Oh, he's missed it. Disappointing kick there. He plays on with a little kick. Witz soars over the pack and takes a ripper. He's got eyes like a pterodactyl with contact lenses. What do the stats look like, Richo? Neither team showing any superiority. The second quarter has begun. Just keep going. Everybody gets better if they keep at it. Sandlin's without a touch. The clearance spike wits. The ball is socket. Good tap from Young. Hamling is able to grab it on the half volley. Sandlin's with the tap. The ball is slammed towards goal by Rosa. What a great goal by Rosa. That's his first. His sons won't be happy to see that scoreboard. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. More bounce than a dodgy check. Sandlin's decisively. Blakely lobs the pass. Tucker has his head down now. 45 metres out. 
Ben Oak bursting with inventive strategy right now to be sure of hitting the target. He's actually kicking first and calling whatever it hits the target. He'll be disappointed with that effort. It's time to roll the dice out there and see how the game might open up. Yes, Gold Coast might get hurt on the rebound, but I think more scoring opportunities will present themselves. Sexton slams the ball to his boot. Lemons claims the ball. He gets boot to the ball. Bennell marks it, concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. He's racking up possessions. Tapped by Sexton. Willett sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Riscatelli puts the ball in the hands of fate. Puts boot to ball. Great mark. Young can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Archie goes for home. The ball's up. Oh, and he's missed. Disappointing kick there. He kicks it to himself. So well timed. Hamling sends one up towards the wing. Lions couldn't hang on to the ball. Gets a handball away. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Bell picks up the loose ball. Has it now. He just can't get out of the action. McCarthy collects. Deft touch from Wits. Kicks. Perfect timing from Neal. Neal has so much potential, he could just be anything. Johnson, just the better man in that contest. He kicks the ball. Thompson gets the upper hand, puts boot to ball. Lions with good strong hands, sending it on its way. Sanderlands marks the ball, chips it down towards half forward. Great mark. Sending it on its way. Off the ground. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Sandlins with the first touch. Able to grab it on the half volley. Is in his possession. Wits with the football. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. Yes, he's had it again, Dennis. He just seems to be everywhere tonight. 45 metres out. May takes a shot at goal. That's got to hurt it. Just missed. Disappointing kick there. Pierce is a pretty decent kick of the footy, but you can always be better. Gee, a long kick there. He boots it. Kept his composure then. Archie has a kick. Archie has got it. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Batted down nicely by Sandilands. Rosa comes away with the ball. Joyce has the ball. Good mark on the run. Slams it on the boot. Tucker wins the marking contest. Jams it on the boot. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That was the peg. Looking for another goal here. Monday watches as it sails through the air. Two goal lead for Fremantle. Monday is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Umpire has the ball, ready for the center bounce. Hit by Sandilands. Blakely handballs it. Tucker heads in for the goals. That was all Monday. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. Gee, you wouldn't like to miss from here. The Dockers with a comfortable three-goal lead. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The ball is bounced. First hand's important. Tackle, but gets the handball off. Collar Jasney grabs that one. Collar Jasney is a decent mark, although he really needs to work on his marking contests because he just isn't making an impression there. Spur looks hurt. That looked like a glancing blow from here, but he's taking his time to get back up. Oh, he'll have to go to the bench for now. Short handball from Briscatelli. Nichols hand passes out to space. He steers it out of the defensive 50. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. 50 minutes from home. Collar Jasney boots it. I guess it was worth a go. Wright gets it on the bounce. And that was strange. He's misjudged the boundary line there. Neither Ruckman giving an inch. Guided by Nichols. Down goes Lyons. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines this shot up. 40 meters out. He's kicking from a 45 degree angle. 25 meters out. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. Gold Coast won't be happy to see that scoreboard. 
The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. More bounce than a dodgy chip. Nichols hits it. Five is dragged down by Lyons. All of a sudden, the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Joyce. Timely handball. Neil taps it. Blakely with the ball. It's a ball up. Big thump from Nichols. Lyons looking like a Manchester United player. Kicks it. Possession number one for Pierce. It's with him now. I think he just wants attention. Can you count that as a moral victory? Gold Coast trailing by less than two goals. They're still in this. Disappointing kick there. Collar Jasny. Up. He boots it. Is it? Is it? There it goes. What a magnificent effort. Collar Jasny. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve. So defenders will have to be on their game. Nichols with the punch. With the ball now. Has it now. He gets a kick out of the pack. Mate has it. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines this shot up. Boots it. That's a ripper. Young with a long bomb, but it won't work for him. The Suns is down by less than a kick. And that's the end of the term with Fremantle 45, the Suns 41. The Dockers need to become a team who always want to do better than others. Love the competition, really stamp their authority on the contest. Richo, what did the stats tell us? The Dockers are dominating the scoreboard, but their stats don't reflect it. Looks like the players are ready for this. Let's get started. It will be interesting to see what changes, if any, the coaches make for the second half of the match. A short handball. Rosen with a perfect drop punt. Collar Jasny takes the mark. A desperate kick there. Hamlin with the mark. Sends it on its way. Marked by five. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop punt. Bennell guides it. He gains possession. Is in his possession. That play was as high-tech as it can for him. He's got the football now. He gets his hands on the footy. He gains possession. Handball finds Tucker. Johnson bumps. He scoops the ball off the ground. Day gets the ball. The ball in the hands of Rosa. Rosa has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Lonergan slams the ball to his boot. May lining up with the goals. The goal here and would put them in the lead. Goal for the Suns. That's three in a row for the Suns. The Suns in the lead. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Neil plays it off by hand. Sexton knocks the ball loose and brings down Tucker. Shoots off the handball. The Doc is sending out Tucker. Sandlin's not even close to getting a hit out. He might have to take a leaf out of the Karate Kid and sweep the knee. Bennell to put his team in front. That shot wasn't meant to hit the fan. He's put it out on the full. Gets boot to Leather. Lemons enjoying a height advantage. Lemons has got good knowledge of the game and you can see the events unfolding in front of him. But he just needs to react a little faster. Sending it on its way. That's a nice strong mark. He slams that on the boot. Joyce with great hands. Low spearing kick. Great mark under pressure. Weller puts his boot on it. He wins the contested mark. Booted by Riscatelli. Rosa takes it well. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. Young is really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. He steadies now in front of goal. Hamling marks the ball. Sending it on its way. Neil with the mark. Jams it on the boot. Bennell marks it. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. Bennell lets fly with a shot at goal. I can't believe it carried the distance. That's a great goal. Gets his first. Back in front goes the Dockers. The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. 
Ruckman awaiting the bounce. More bounce than a dodgy chip. Sandlin outstretches his opponent to win the ruck. Dishes it off by hand. Pressure didn't phase him. Kicks as cool as the other side of the pillar. The Dockers had one to their tally. Fremantle have scored the last two goals. Fremantle leads by 10. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Sandlin's taps it. Gains possession. Tabernet with the football, with the chip. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. Taken by Joyce. Joyce has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. He boots it. It's a mark. He kicks the ball. He grabs it. He gets boot to the ball. He gets it under pressure. He kicks the ball. Tabernak with good strong hands. Jams it on the boot now. Good mark by Bennell. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. Bennell manages to sneak it through. Fremantle in front. Bennell has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. Sandlin's with the tap. Neil with the football. Bumps the pigskin. Kirsten cocks it up. Tackle, but gets the handball off. Dake had no chance at that one. A favorable bounce. Unfortunately, placed ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Scoops up the ball. Riscatelli is streaming past and gets the footy. Blakely throws the ball. Free kick. Gets boot to leather. Simply outplayed the opposition there. The Suns have taken plenty of marks, but they haven't converted enough into goals. That's why they find themselves trailing. Sending it on its way. By with good strong hands. Puts boot to ball. The ball picked up. Thompson throws the ball. Free kick. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell me. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. An easy grab for Thompson. A cool, calm head, clearing it out of defense. Low kick. A good mark under the circumstances. Boots it. Wins the hard ball. Boots it. Neil marks it. Gets boot to high. Tabernet has it. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. He picks up the loose ball. Joyce guides it. Good tap from Tabernet. Kirsten with the mighty fist. Sexton with the mighty fist. The ball is on the ground, and it's picked up by Bowler. He's got the footy in his hands. Sexton can get off the line quite fast, but he still hasn't mastered accelerating away from his opponents just yet. He hands it out to space. The umpire calls a free kick. Sanderlands kicks the ball. He gets the upper hand. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Going for goal number one. Richo, what do you think about that? The Suns need to always make a total effort, even when the odds seem entirely against you. Never quit trying. I've never felt that I've not had a chance to win. The scores were very high in that third term. Let's see. And the last quarter of this match is underway. The game isn't over till it's over. Wits is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Sandilands. Chips it down towards half forward. Sexton claims it. Sends the Sharon on its way. Tucker with a chance if he keeps a cool head. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. Joyce made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Umpire throws the ball in. Sandlin's punches. The bouncing ball is controlled. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Tapped by Wits. Boots it. Tucker working like a bricklayer who gets played by the road. Clean tap by Bennett. Mundy guides it. He's got the footy in his hands. That's four in a row for Fremantle. The dock is with a handy break, leading the Suns 69 to 47. Nice bounce. Claimed by Sandilands. Five past the ball. What are you, the black hole of footy? Come on. 
chips it down towards half forward. He wins the contest. He has a mighty kick of the footy. That kick was asking a bit much of Wits. Interception. Chips it down towards half forward. And the mark will be paid. Gold Coast could have been able to take more marks out there, but most of these have been from playing possession footy. They need to start taking a few more risks out there. No one around troubling him there. Gray slams the ball to his boot. A nice contested mark. Dave with the kick. He takes a strong mark. Collar Jasmine keeps that one low. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. Slams it on the boot. Nice mark under pressure. Lonigan launches one towards goal. Gets the distance. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Deft touch from Sandilands. He shows the quick hands. He's heading for home. Tucker kicks for goal. Goal. The Dockers leads by 22. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Witz thumps it forward. He has the ball. He's able to thread a needle and that kick comes out of the pack. No questioning whether the Suns can take a mark. I think everyone has seen enough cheap marks taken out there. The Suns need to start kicking more direct for goal. He kicks the ball. Sutcliffe has the ball. He claims the ball. Five slams the ball to his boot. Lyons takes the mark. Choose to kick it. Nice contested mark by Neil. Sends the Sharon on its way. Witz looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Puts boot to ball. Strong mark there. Archie will be kicking from, as they would say, downtown. He's put his all into that, but it won't give him the six points. That won't help. They need a goal. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. He steadies now in front of goal. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. The huge kick makes it to the goals. Wits. It's pretty handy around goal. He just has that sixth sense of knowing where the goals are at all times. Riscatelli plays the tackle and the ball comes loose. Joyce aims for his man on the ground. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Cleanly picked up. Hand pass by Johnson. A lot of possessions for him. The ball in the hands of Tucker. Approaching the goals now. Mundy launches one towards goal. Fremantle in front. Mundy is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Witz punches it. The loose ball scooped up. Blakely dishes it off to the running man. Lyons, an amazing tackler. He could take down a whole team almost single-handedly. He taps it. Lyons with a clean pickup. She a long kick there. Young with the mark. Sending it on its way. Lonergan takes the mark. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. A set shot on a 30-degree angle. He gives the ball a mighty roost. Rosa drops it. Intercept by Day. He grabs it on the run. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. He's using the ball superbly, Dennis. 40 metres out. Make with a 45-degree angle in front of him. That was a poor kick, wasn't it, Richard? That'd fly on his mind. I would have expected him to nail that. Spur claims it. Gets boot to leather. Sheridan gets it on the bounce. Ballard bumped. Riscatelli runs past and gets the ball tackled, but gets the handball off. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Sandilands punches it. Tucker, there to mop it up. Hill guides it. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Collected by Johnson. Rosen is an absolute ball magnet. Is in his possession. He gets his hands on the footy. Mate has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Going for goal number five. Miss for behind. Gold Coast need a score here. He'll be disappointed with that effort. He looks for a man on the lead. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Sends it on its way. So well tied. The Dockers haven't taken many inside 50 forward marks and their ability to nail goals on the run is what's keeping them in front of Gold Coast. It's a mark. May getting into position for the kick. 
May goes for goal. A goal to the Suns. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Big thump from Wits. Five tries in vain to tackle. Fremantle are victorious. Now that it's all over, how did you see that game, Richo? Well, that's just a shocker from the Suns. Red hot favourites with the bookies, but big losers here today. The stats don't lie. They never looked in the hunt all day, and there'll be some soul searching back at the club this week. Thank you very much, Richo. Final scores are 81 to 68. Well, that's it from us. Thanks for joining us, Richard. It's been my pleasure, Dennis. We look forward to having everyone back soon.